side. Aye. Am I coming through okay? I think so. with whatever name that's come up on their Zoom. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. So So we're just gonna wait. Well, we still have four minutes until it starts. So we're gonna wait a little bit um, so everyone can come and join us. Um, you don't have to have your camera up, um, but if you wanna show me what you're doing, you have to turn it on, right? Um, so yeah, let's just, we're gonna wait for a little bit until everyone else can join us. Nice work. I always have to check myself. Oh, hello, Kristen. Hello, Amy. Thought I'd tune in for the beginning just to see how things are going. Sure. <laughs> How many, uh, how many people did you end up getting? I mean, um, did they all pick up their kits? There's one kit left. Someone didn't pick it up, so. Okay. Well, that's good. Should be a sign that we'll get a lot of people. Hopefully. So I should, I should let everybody else know why I'm here and all that since I'm not going to be actually painting. I'm one of the librarians at Batavia Public Library. I schedule programs, so this was of interest to me to see how it goes, and um, I'm sure Amy will do a wonderful job. Let's hope so. <laughs> It'll be fun. Thank you so much for offering this. Yeah. We were supposed to do it in real life, like in the same space, I think in May. Mm -hmm. so, like we bought everything we have all the paint we have all the easels we have all the, we have everything and then you know this happened so okay we've got some people in the waiting room let me uh okay i got it oh you did okay yep. good good Okay. Yep. Hello. Hello, everybody. All right. So we're just going to give it a few, few moments until we start to get going. I like how we have a little artist back there. That's Luca. I was going to add his name here, but I figured he's going to be, oh, he's going to be doing his painting back there at the same time. He's going to be in and out, in and out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, does everyone know how to make it so it's in speaker view? Okay, wait. So when it's in speaker view, you should, once we get going, I'm going to mute everyone. And then since I'm the only one with a mic, I should be the biggest picture, which is what we want when we're kind of doing this. So just make sure you guys are in speaker view so that you can see. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. So I know I have my audio on. Can I mute myself and get rid of my video here? Yeah, I think <laughs> the bottom left hand corner, there should be okay. a mute and then a stop video button. Okay, because I really don't like the way I look on this. <laughs> All right, let's see. Later on when we get going and when we get painting and stuff, if you want to show me what you're doing, 
You can oh, turn your camera on and then just, you know, point it at the painting. Okay, thanks. Okay, wait. Got a nice crowd going here. Looks like 12 people. Yeah, that's good. That's how many people that were on the main list, 12. So if we get more people, then that's fine too. It's all good. <laughs> Any sign of your person from New York? I think so, right there. So that's a fun story. She was just, do you wanna tell the story of how you found us? I was just Googling all across the country and um, finding different places to paint. Um, next week I'll be in Boise, Idaho. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so you're from New York? Yes. Very I cool. Live, uh, about a half hour outside of New York City. No, I grew I grew up in Little Neck in Queens. Oh, in Long Island. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm I actually I'm in New Rochelle. Oh sure. Okay. This is awesome. And my cousin I think was living in I want to say Bay, not Bayville, but another Bay something out there. There's a Bayside. No. Um, Maybe it was Bayport. Is Bayport Long Island? Oh, I don't know about Bayport. I know Bayside. Yeah, That's no, no, that, no. She was yeah. in Long Island for many, many years. And um, that's my closest connection to Long Island. And Jones Beach, of course. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's very cool. So we have people from everywhere. I wondered if it was like a search Batavia, because occasionally I've Googled Batavia to look for something in Batavia, New York. There was a Batavia in New York State has come up. Right. There is, yes. We've gotten phone calls at the reference desk asking us for certain resources we don't have, but Batavia, New York Library has. And they're yeah. like, yes, we are, but we're in Illinois. And they're like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. So. Okay, looks like we've got one more. What time is it? And how far are you from like Arlington Heights? Arlington Heights? What's that? Like an hour? Yeah, about an hour. Um, I'm thinking when I worked for Honeywell, they had an office in Arlington Heights. Yeah, there's, I, I moved actually to Batavia from right near Arlington Heights and there's oh. an office there. I think it's technically in Mount Prospect, but it's right there on the in that that's how we refer to it in New York as the Arlington Heights location. Yeah. And Small in, world. There's an Arlington High School and part of Poughkeepsie there's a section called the Arlington. Oh. Hello. Right after. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Um <laughs> We can probably get started. Um, if you would like, I'm going to mute everyone for now. Or you can mute yourself. It's all good. That way, when we go, um, you can put your screen into speaker view. And then you will get the person that's speaking as the biggest bubble. So that should hopefully be me if everyone is muted. Right? Can we make sure that works? Yeah? OK, cool. Cool. There we go. Um, oh, and I think if you click on, on a little screen, you can spotlight the video and that it might also work if the speaker view doesn't work for you. So, hello, my name is Amy and I work at Batavia Public Library. I'm an adult services librarian and I majored in studio art in college and um, I've been doing these painting programs pretty much at every library I've worked at because people really seem to like it and it's easy and it's fun for me and um, the patrons really enjoy it. So today I'm glad everyone is here. We could do this virtually. 
Um, we did buy all the stuff. We had everything ready to do it in May, but then COVID happened. So hopefully once um, the library starts doing in-person programs, we can do it um, in person and we can all meet in the meeting rooms. So I'm gonna show you the painting that we're doing. Here it is. Um, if you wanna take a screenshot or take a picture with your phone real quick, that's what people do in our, um, when we're in person, they'll just take a picture of it with their phones. So they have it on their person. Um, so I'll leave this here just for a few more minutes or a minute or so. Um, so we are doing uh, acrylic paint. Um, if you picked up your supplies, you should have like little jars like this. And you should have water and a paper towel and your paint brushes and your canvas and all that stuff. So acrylic paint, it does, it will stain your clothes. So try not to get it on your clothes. And if you do, just take water to it right away and, and rub it off. And you should be okay, but it might, it might leave a stain. But that's what happens when you're an artiste, right? Okay. So I have here, here's my blank canvas that I'll be painting with you. Um, if you have them in the little jars, you can either um, put your paintbrush right in the jar or you can put it on your plate if you want to be mixing. We are going to be making orange, so you're going to be mixing the red and the yellow together to make orange. Our background here is a little more orange than in the um, picture that we used in all of our promotional materials. So to get the background color, you're going to do mostly red with a little bit of yellow. But to start off, this is what we are going to do here. I'm going to make it so I can see. We are going to take um, just one of your paintbrushes. It doesn't have to be the biggest one just yet. Um, and we are going to put our horizon line on our canvas. So you can do that with either brown or black. I'm probably going to do brown. If you picked up your supplies from us, your paint might be a little tacky. So I would just put some, a little bit of water in it or mix it with a little water so that it's not so tacky and it'll move a little more smoothly. So we're just gonna set our horizon line. So our horizon line is gonna be uh, maybe three inches up from the bottom of the canvas. And we're just gonna put a line that goes across so that we kind of know where the, the sky begins and the ground begins. And so we don't, just so that we know, there's a little reference line. We're just gonna put a line there. Okay, everyone got our line, good. I hope so, I hope we're all doing, you could do the re little reactions button at the bottom if you're good. <laughs> or give me a thumbs up. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so then we're going to move on to our background of our sky. That's the biggest portion and we're going to have to do the entire background before we can move on to the foreground. So like I said, this is going to be orange. So it's going to be red with a little bit of yellow. So I'm actually going to take it out and mix it on my plate. I have my red here. I'm just gonna grab that off a little bit. And I'm gonna put some red on my plate. I don't know, I put that much. So it's gonna be mostly red, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of yellow. And I'm gonna switch brushes so I'm not dipping red brush in there. Okay, and we're gonna mix that together on the plate so that we get our orange color. Okay, once we have that all mixed up, once again, if your paint is kind of tacky, add some water to your paint and then that'll make it last a little bit longer. And then you're just going to apply that to your sky. So just put that all over the top portion of your canvas here. 
Once that's a little dry, we're gonna add a few little like accent lines to make the background a little more interesting. But for now, it's just a pretty straight up orange color. If anyone has any questions or anything, feel free to unmute yourself. It's all good. Oops, I just splattered paint all over myself. That's cool. I only have to work after this. It's fine. Do you take it over the corners? Over on the edge? Yeah, so you can okay. wrap paint around the edges of the canvas on top and on the sides. Um, okay. You can wrap the, uh, the image around, which is what I usually do. Okay. Or when it's all finished, a color and go all the way around. That's what they call a ribbon edge. Um, but I usually like to just paint around while I'm doing it because I think it looks a little nicer. Can you get that? It's Amy. If you're finding that there are like little, you can see the canvas through your paint, try adding a little bit of water to your paint or to your paintbrush and smoothing it out. You don't have to worry about this background being fully, um, we want it covered, but if there's a few little spots where you can see the canvas, that's okay because we're gonna put the tree in there and then there's the fence and the sun. So we have some stuff to go in the foreground. So if the paint is a little uneven or you can see the canvas, that's okay. We can paint over it. What I really like about these kinds of programs is that even though we're all painting at the same time, and even though we have a lot of the same supplies and the same instruction, they're all gonna look kind of different, which is one of my favorite parts about these kinds of programs. Um, so once we get more close to the end, I would like to have everyone share if they're able, if they have the camera to share what their finished product looks like so we can all take a look. We're just going to wrap it around here. Let that dry for a little bit. Here's my sky. It's very orange, very red.
everyone doing? Good? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I like those little emojis. Perfect. And when um, more people are close to being done with the orange color, then we can continue with the ground. Ooh, we're getting the big reveals. Perfect. That one looks so nice. They all look so nice. <laughs> oh, there it is. We got the orange. Perfect. Very good. Cool, cool. So the ground, if you're ready to move on, okay. no rush. Um, it's just that brown color that we have. Well, that's a little better. So it's just brown. And then once that is a little more dry, we can add these little details, these little lines here. So if you're ready to move on to the ground, you can just paint that bottom portion brown. It's not mixed with anything, so if you picked up any supplies, I'm just going to dip straight into the tub with a clean brush. It's a little tacky, so like I said, water first. Mix it in a little bit, and it'll make the paint move a little smoother. Same with that brown, you can wrap it around the edge of your canvas.
we were doing this at the library together, I'd usually put on some like Michael Bublé or something. So it's not. That would be nice. <laughs> so if anyone wants to <laughs> put on their Pandora Okay. Nah. Ta da. Very exciting. I know. It'll get more exciting, I promise. <laughs> We're going to let this dry for a little bit before we add our little accent hatch marks. Wow, yours looks like fire. Fancy. I love it. I need more paper towels. Yeah, I usually go through at least like 12. <laughs> it gets all over. I have it all over my shirt. It's fine. I got an apron so I wouldn't get it on my clothes. Perfect. There it is. Very cool. Put on if I if I put on music, you should all be able to hear it, right? Yes. Just through my phone or something. It's gonna play my kids' playlist first, so <laughs> you hear Rafi or something right away. That's what it is. Oh, Princess and the Frog. That's not so bad. There you go, because everyone likes the Beatles. Can we hear that, or is that, like, janky? All right. Cool. I don't want it to be too loud. So we're just going to let this dry for a little bit. Um, the next part we're going to do is the um, the little hash details in, in the sky. So that's basically just like horizontal and vertical lines of um, yellow, just straight up yellow. And then also we're gonna add a little bit of white to that orange mixture that we have here. Okay. and add those in as well. So you can prep whatever colors you need or make sure you have them, and then we'll do that next. While I'm waiting for that one to dry, I'm mixing up my light orange color here. So if you're waiting as well for your background to dry, you can go ahead and do that too now. So it's basically that same orange color with some white added in. When you, um, if you're using the supplies that we picked up from the library, Make sure to use either a clean brush or a clean spoon, a clean utensil, whatever. I use the end of my paintbrush to put that white onto the plate just because you don't want to, you know, destroy that whole tub of white with your orange color. 
So we will be using the white a little bit later on as well. Would you be able to put the finished one off to the side there where there's a blank wall? Like it would, it would still show on the screen. Yeah. Could you just set, leave it setting right there on the table? Thanks. Good idea. A water bottle. There. Yep. That's good. Is anyone still painting? Um, okay, that's fine. Um, one rule of thumb I usually tell people because it's hard to know when to stop. Um, so if you need to ask yourself, am I done? You're probably done. <laughs> um, it also helps to take a step back from your painting because you're looking at it up close. So when you look at it from a little bit of a distance, you might get a better sense of completion. Okay. Are there any questions so far or are we having any issues? So far we're doing it's pretty two colors. No issues, it's good. Perfect. Doing great. Okay. <laughs> So I think we're gonna give it maybe another minute or two. So we have a question, how do we know when it's dry enough to start the next? So to do the details in the background, it doesn't have to be completely dry. Um, so as long as you don't have any really wet, like concentrated wet spots, we should be good to move on. If you, since you guys are home, if you have hair dryers or a fan, you know, <laughs> you could do that route. I know when we're at the library, we don't have any of that stuff. So you guys are home. So please, oh, see, we got a hair dryer right there. I see it. Um, utilize what you got at home you have a lot of paint on the canvas. So let's all make sure that we have our light orange color mixed. Here's kind of what mine looks like. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yes, that's good. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's just that orange with a bun with some white in it. So it's like just a lighter kind of um, like a coral peachy orange. Yep. Well, then take one of your, um, my brush is probably about a quarter inch long here. And then we're going to use that to just do horizontal and vertical just little accents everywhere. So let's get this close up. So do you see those little lines in the orange in the background? That's kind of what we're going for, just to make the background a little more interesting. Add a little bit more color and detail, whatnot. It doesn't matter, the, um, they're gonna be yellow and then that peachy color. It doesn't matter, you could do all yellow, you could do all peach, you could do mostly peach and a few yellow, it, do, it doesn't matter. So you're just gonna do those little lines wherever you see fit here. So we're gonna, whoop. Keep in mind if you're gonna do um, mainly where you're gonna put the tree, um, you cannot see, there they are. Um, 
Yeah. So if you're going to put the tree on this side, you know, you don't have to put a lot of little hatch marks over there, but if you, you know, just keep in mind where you're going to put your tree and your sun. And then I'm going to put some yellow on there as well. I just switched my brush. I don't have that many hands right now. So here we go. And I'm going to add the yellow details as well. So this does not have to be perfect. Like I said, this is the background. So we're gonna put some more interesting things in the foreground. And you can kind of... All right, if I do too many. See, this is what I'm saying. Am I done? Am I done? Sure, mm -hmm. then I'll be done. I can be done. There you go. And like I said, we're gonna put that the swirly tree. This does not have to be perfect or pristine, precise, anything. It just makes it a little more interesting. Okay, I'm done. Now that I'm looking at it from this little bit of a distance, I know there's not really a yellow one down here, so I'm going to add a yellow one. There, now I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so it helps to kind of look at it from even a little bit of a distance. That one looks good. That one looks nice. They all look really nice from what I can see. Very cool. You can always add more later, right? Correct. Yeah, so I think I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, see? See now, if we wanna see what everyone else is doing, you can switch to, what is this, gallery view, I think, is what I'm in. So you can see everyone that has their camera on when we're showing. Oh, gallery view. Ah, okay. And then you get the Brady Bunch squares, right? Yeah. There it is. And then at the end, we'll make sure to let our, warn everyone that we're going to show everything off. <laughs> so that everyone can go in Brady Bunch mode. Very cool. And I like how some of the the horizon lines are, they have little hills or divots or bumps. Okay. You okay. have those lines on your canvas. Um, there are also some little lines down here in the brown portion. So it looks like those are the same colors. They're like orange and yellows. But you're gonna use, um, if you have a thinner brush or just try to make thinner strokes, they're not, see if you wanna compare like this line that's in the sky with this line that's on the ground here. They're a little bit thinner. So what color are they? White and? Um, these ones on the ground, um, they're going to be yellow and orange. So the same oh, okay. colors you have in the sky. They just look a little different because they're on the brown. 
background and not the bright orange background. Okay. I did all of mine on the um, example painting going horizontal. You don't have to do that. But that's what I did here. And keep in mind if you want to put Amy, a, oh, sorry, oh. Luca wants to show you his finished painting. Oh, it's so beautiful. What do you say? Thanks. <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm going to start on the ground lines here. Yeah, it's pretty dry. Uh, I have that same orange color and I'm just going to do some lines on the ground here. What I really like about this painting is that everything is in steps and in layers so you don't necessarily have to wait 25 minutes for one part to dry to move on. You can kind of work on the whole painting at one time, which is really nice for programs like this. It looks like little confettis on the ground. If you want, you can wrap around some of these lines onto the edge of your canvas, if you want. Okay, I'm adding too many, I need to stop. Put the brush down. <laughs> You're funny. But it's true, I do. <laughs> Just let everyone finish their little details here. And then I'm just going to clean off my brushes. Oh, we have a raised hand. Yes. Tammy, do you have a question? Or was that an accident? No, that's not me. <laughs> it says you raised your hand. Here, let me see if Did I can. I? Yeah. Oh, yes, that was an accident. Oh, you raised so your hand. Sorry. It's fine. I just want to make sure you're doing okay. <laughs> There's no questions. It says lower hand. I clicked uh, on lower hand. There we go. <laughs> okay. We're going to need the orange again, right? The lighter orange or no? Um, that you can make it yeah. Okay. I didn't want to clean my brush just yet. Yeah. I see there's a question in the chat. How do we know when it's dry enough to do the next thing? Yeah, I think we went over that, but I can go over it again. It's all good. Um, so you want to make sure that there aren't any a lot, like concentrated paint wet spots on your canvas before we move on. Um, some people are really heavy painters. So if you can look at it and it's shiny and you know it's wet, then we're not ready. Um, it can be a little tacky to like the touch, but that shouldn't be an issue. 
And with these lines, they tend to, to have the paint pool a little bit in some places um, if you're just doing a line as opposed to going back and forth, so. So just let me know if we're done with the little detail lines and then we can move on. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. We're good? I think most of us are good. Cool. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Very good. All right. Okay, so the next part we're going to do is the sun. So like I said before, we kind of go sky, ground, sky, ground, sky, ground, which is great because we don't have to wait that full like half hour for everything to dry before we can move on. So we're going to do the sun. The sun is just in the example painting as a yellow circle. Um, what's to note here is that I did a circle in white first. And then I paint it over the white circle in yellow so that it stands out. And so you don't have to do a million layers of yellow paint. So if you can just do a big white circle in the, in the sky and then paint over that. You don't have to wait for it to dry completely before you add the yellow. Maybe just, I don't know, 35 seconds. I recommend getting uh, using a clean brush just because you're going right into white and then yellow. You don't want any darker colors to paint. So we're going to put it up here. And it's okay if some of the yellow or the peachy color blends in with your sun because it's all kind of the same color palette. So I had a little spot in one of my hatch marks weren't completely dry. So it's got a little yellow hue to it. That's a very oblong sun. That's better. If you want, you can make this a moon, crescent moon. It's all good. So there's my white. And we're just going to wait for it to dry a little bit before I add the yellow. Oh, well, there goes my pants. I just ruined everything. Remember when I said that it stains? Yeah, I'm a prime example. It's fine. Okay, and now we're just adding the yellow over it. Did you clean off your brush or just did? I did not clean off my brush. Okay. There you go. Now it's like this little yellow sun here. Very cute. Cute little sun. And then I'll show the example one before I, do you want to see my pants? Look, I got all over them. That's cool. I just have to work the desk tonight. It's fine. It's fine. Oh boy. Now I need new work pants. Okay. So on the example painting around the sun, you can see there's little lines that go around kind of like an aura. Mm -hmm. Optional, you can add them if you want or don't. I just use the smallest brush that we have and just kind of go around the sun a little bit and, and hashed lines. Those are white? Um, they are like the same yellow. So if oh, okay. you um, do white first and then go over them with yellow or you can just go straight yellow. They're just a tiny little detail, so. I 
like a haze almost. I added a few. So let me know when we have our sons in. Done. All right. Done. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Very cool. There it is. All right. All right. There it is. Okay, and then another thumbs up. And if anyone's lost or just completely overwhelmed, we are recording this, so it will go on the internet somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> sure, there you YouTube, maybe we'll upload it to Facebook, I don't know, but um, I can send out a link to the recording to everyone. Okay. Registered. My granddaughters could probably find it better than I could. <laughs> yeah. I do not usually make this big a mess. So the next part, um, you know, let's, we're going to do the tree next. Oh dear. Wait, no, we're going to do the fence. We'll do the fence. We'll do the fence. The tree is the scariest part because we've worked so hard on this beautiful background for the past four, 50 minutes, and you're gonna do straight black on the canvas and it's gonna be terrifying. Okay. It will, but it will get through it, I promise. It'll be okay. The great thing about trees is that they're very organically shaped and you're never gonna find two trees that are the same shape. Which is true. Yeah. And this is like a fun swirly tree. So, you know, it's not realistic. So it makes it more fun. Um, but we're gonna do the fence first because this fence is behind the tree. We have a post that goes behind it. So we're gonna just do the fence first and then we can paint the tree over the fence. So the fence, um, everyone should have that brown. Yep, it's that brown color. Yes. Um, you're just gonna do, I find if you do the posts that go up and down first, and then you connect those up and down posts with the horizontal posts. That's the easiest way I've found to do fences. That might be totally obvious, but. <laughs> um, and then once that's done, we can add a few of these highlights, but let's get the fence posts in first. And that's just brown here. What do I got? You can make them as tall or as short as you would like. Um, we're gonna right here. If you have a few wet spots still on your sky, like this one of mine right here is still pretty wet, I'm just going to avoid it and I'm not gonna put a fence post there. And then we can put a little shorty here. Hopefully those lines are kind of straight. Okay, and then from there you can connect the posts with the fence part. Um, I have, let's do a few, make them go off the canvas, so to an imaginary fence, so it's over here. And then I'm gonna wrap that post around. 
ada and then make this one a little crooked if you're feeling adventurous you could make a gate or you know one could be missing a fence Now we're getting to the point of this painting where a lot of the, the choices you make can be, you know, very much your own and make your painting, you know, individualized and your own, so. Just put one goes down here. And then off. Like that, sure. Let's call this a fence post. And we're gonna make this one a little taller. If you take a step back and look at the fence from afar, you'll get a better sense and a better idea of where you want to add things or make things taller. Because right now when you're looking at it so close, it's hard to tell. Okay, once you have the posts in, you can add a few highlights to your posts. So I'll show you the example painting one more time. Because it's hard to see. And what that color is just that brown with a little bit of white. So it's still within the same color palette. And you can just add them to the tops of your fence, to the sides. It makes it a little more interesting. So that's what brown and white, I said. I'm just going to put a little bit of brown on my plate with a little bit of white. You don't need a whole lot of this color. So here's my brown and white color. Okay. So just brown and white, pretty much in equal amounts, I would say. If you don't want it to be as light, don't add as much white. And then we're just going to add those to a few of our fence posts. If you have a lot of paint in one spot, just, you know, avoid it. You want to be real technical, see where the sun is, and then you could, you know, put the highlights where the sun would hit the fence, but, you know. <laughs> it sounds a bit much for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. Mm 
added a few here. I'll add a few more here. Mm. There you go. That's enough. Very fine. Here it is. Okay, we're going to let that sit for a little bit just so it can dry a little bit. Um, I have a few little spots where there's a lot of paint, so we want to make sure that it dries a little bit before we add in our tree. Our tree is next. Everyone has a few minutes to mentally prepare for the tree. <laughs> It'll be okay. If you're at, well, obviously, if you're at home um, and you want to practice, you can take this time to practice the shape of your tree on a piece of paper. Um, so your first go doesn't have to be on the canvas. Lucky for you, if we were at the library, you wouldn't have that opportunity. I wouldn't let you. You would have to do it on the canvas the first time. So um, we have a few minutes. If you're still doing the fence, there's no, absolutely no rush. Um, we're gonna let the, the fence in the background dry a little bit more. And then you can practice doing the tree. <laughs> Can, are you there? Can I call you back in about maybe a little bit later? I'm I'm painting a picture on a, with a Zoom thing from the library. Okay, <laughs> so let me call you back. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Bye. So that's, that's awesome. awesome speed painting with those hash marks and stuff all over the place with the sun I end up doing a sunset <laughs> instead well, could we do the pump when do we do the pumpkin the pumpkin we're going to do last oh okay oh, just curious pumpkin is optional i've had i've done this painting before in previous years and there have been people that make they put hay bales down in the other corner They'll do a pumpkins. They'll do a tombstone if they're feeling creepy. Oh, maybe a turkey um, feel. Because <laughs> they don't yeah, like that. Like a cat, huh? anything, you know. So I'm they not, can do um, a cat. Down. I'm not. Oh, I am. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> So we can use this time to do any finishing touches or you can practice your tree. Like I said, if you want to practice the tree. Um, I wish I had a pen. Oh well, we'll use paint. So I have a piece of paper here. Um, I can kind of show you how to get started on the piece of paper if you want to practice on a sheet of paper before doing it on the canvas. Um, if you don't want to practice, you want to just go for it, that's fine too. So, brush, here it is. Okay, so the first lines that I, I say to make usually, it's going to be this one going up, the edge of the tree, the big trunk. Don't worry about the swirlies just yet. So like this line, and then we'll make the other line going up, this line. Okay. So you're just gonna do two curved lines to begin with to do the big trunk. And then from there, you just kind of add branches from that big starting point. Like I said, this part usually is the most terrifying. So I'll- What size, br what size brush are you using? Um, I'm going to be using a smaller brush to do the first lines. So what is this? I'll just put paint all over it. This one is probably um, okay. this size. Okay. <laughs> it's a size two. 
that means anything. The brushes have sizes on them. It's a size two flathead brush. It's a little less than a quarter of an inch across, I'd say. Okay. These are just kind of like your sketching lines. Um, so let's say this is the ground. So we would do a line going up and then on the other side, a line going up. And then from there we can do the twirly twirlies. So you're gonna do these outline lines first and then kind of sketch out where the twirly lines are gonna, the branches. And then you can kind of connect it back in. Just in straight black? Yes. Just straight black? Yep. And up until now, we haven't added any black to our canvas, so it should hopefully pop. The tree is going on the other side of the sun, but you can have a branch or two going over the sun. So once your uh, fence is pretty much dry and you're ready to commit, go for it. I'll leave the example one over there so you can kind of see, have a reference. And then once you're filling in the trunk, you can switch to a, a thicker brush, a bigger brush. Do we have people committing? I think so, from what I can see. Oh, I'm very excited. This is my favorite part. Yes. Okay, let's see here. This is scary for me too, okay? There's my first line. Like I said, trees are very organically shaped. You're not going to find two trees that look the same. So if your tree looks different from the Zoom square next to yours, that's good. That's what we want. Okay, so I added my second line there. Okay, and then we're going to add a few more twirly swirlies up here. And then we just need to connect our two beginning lines, our two first lines, like up here. And then we can add thickness to our branches. If you think of a tree, the part of a tree that connects to the main trunk is going to be thicker than the, the outer part of a branch, right? So if you're connecting one of these twirly branches to your trunk, you can add thickness to where the line connects to the trunk. So let me, so if we're gonna have a branch here, this branch, we can make it thicker where it connects here. And that'll make it look more like a tree. And then you just kind of go for it. You're not digging the curly tree aesthetic. You can make it look more realistic, or if you like the curly cues, you can add more. Are we all doing okay? I know this was scary. Look at that. This is okay. Very Halloween-y, I like it. I might take a couple of uh, coats to make it too black here. And if your paint isn't moving as smoothly as you'd like, just add a little water to your brush or you can add water to your paint and mix it in.
So I'd stick any of these lines up where they connect to the main trunk so it doesn't look so strange here. If you have questions or if you want like a recommendation or anything, feel free to ask. Tell me what you're working on and I can try to help. When it gets quiet, I know everyone's muted as well, but that's always, everyone's just so concentrating. This I think is scary, but I think it's also the most fun part. Once you get over the true, you know, putting black on your canvas. And I'll just show you real quick. This tree also has roots that are curly cues. So if you want to add roots that match the tops of the branches. And tie it all together. This is also a portion where you need to step back to determine if you need to add more or not. 
it was very hard to over add or it's very easy to to add too many and then you can never you can't take them back you know you can always add more but you can't take them away as easily I have a question. Yeah. Um, the library is only open for pickup until eight. Or today? Yeah. Because I really, I didn't get a canvas with my painting pack for some weird reason, unless it was under the bag and I totally ran away without picking it up. <laughs> okay. I picked it up at quarter to two. Um, so I used a canvas that I already have. Okay. Um, so I was just wondering if you know if there was an extra one there. Yeah. There is. Okay. What's your name? Thank you. Tammy Sheasel. Okay. I will make a mental note and then I will leave uh, one out at circulation for you. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's okay. I just, I have another class at, actually on the same exact day, it's a painting class through school. So <laughs> at five. So I thought I'd come and get it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I will put it out. Amy, will you show the roots again? My internet started getting kind of goofy right when we started the tree, so perfect timing. <laughs> there. Okay, thank you. Got it. It might take a few coats to get the black, what you want. Is everyone doing okay? Yep. I see one disgruntled face. Now, if you're done with the tree or you need a break from the tree, you can go ahead and add the pumpkin or the tombstone or the hay bales or the, the, the whatever, cat, trick or tree, trick or treaters. That one's nice. From what I'm saying, oh, look at that one. 
That was exciting. We need to make sure to have everyone go in Brady Bunch view so that we can all show off our paintings before anyone leaves. So no one better just leave. <laughs> You're right though, you can add too much. I already did. Oh boy. But that's all right, I'll, I'll work it out. Okay. I mean, you could <laughs> wait for it to dry completely and paint over it. That's what I was thinking. If it bothers you that much, you can do that. It just needs to be completely- it's getting close to bothering me that much, yes. <laughs> Stop, put the paintbrush down. That painting. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I need another branch, like coming out, like thicken, thicken this and do another one. Yeah, so thicken the one that's going down into the trunk. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Turn that one more towards the bottom, and then you can shove another one out going towards the sun. And you can okay. make it longer. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm not sure how to, my trunk got really, can you hear me? Yes. This is Diane. Okay. Yeah. I'm not very good with this video stuff. My trunk got really thick. So what you can do is, see? you see right now, it kind of just looks like a thick trunk with skinny little branches sticking out of it. Yeah. If you thicken up the branches where it meets the trunk, that'll okay. make it more organic. So like, okay. if you look here, that, here okay. it kind yeah. of gets thicker where it meets and it curves. Okay. So instead of just doing like a line with a stick coming out of it, kind of curve the branch into the trunk. Okay. That make it look a little better. Yeah, I'm not happy with this, but oh well. I think it looks good. I don't, I don't think I've picked up a paintbrush, but once in over, I don't know, 50 years. <laughs> well, then I think it looks really good. The whole point of these things is that it's fun. Are yes. you having fun? Yes. Oh. I really had, I had a great time with the background. <laughs> I know some people really get into the background and then the foreground it like scares it's scary but then other people it's the opposite and it's hard for people to like blend the colors or to get the colors just right but they're really into doing the detail work so I think this painting has both of that covered for everyone That one looks nice. Let's see, Teresa, that one looks really nice. <laughs> yes! Celebrate. Oh, there's two Teresas. Oh my goodness. Teresa with a TH and Teresa without a TH. T-E. T-E. Are there more Teresas that I'm missing? I don't think so. <laughs> and if you are moving on to the pumpkin part, do it the same way we did the sun. So do the white first and then the, the orange over it. 
or whatever you're doing in that corner. That one's nice. Yeah. And all the trees are looking different. Which is my favorite part is that they every all of them just look different. That one looks good too. Allison. Allison, yours looks good too. Kind of the tree was challenging, <laughs> but it was fun though. <laughs> Good. I gotta stop with the tree. <laughs> I I don't like it, and I'm just gonna make it worse. Then that's <laughs> sort of usually at the stopping point. Yep. Look at it from afar. You've been up close to it. You're gonna like it better when you look at it from a distance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> well, that's better than you don't like it. Yeah. I, I think I'll stick to knitting. <laughs> this is fun, though. I, I really am having a good time. So thank you for doing this. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I have a winter painting, Kristen. Oh, good. So if you like doing this, I have a winter one. We could definitely do the same thing. Okay. Yes, please. And I don't get a chance to do the winter painting so much because I don't, I don't get booked in the winter for some reason. But now that no one has to actually drive anywhere, this is the perfect time. <laughs> My husband was so excited about me taking this class. He built me this little easel out of scrap. <laughs> oh, now you're going to have to keep painting. Yeah, I know. That's, that's what I was just thinking. Because <laughs> he has another one he wants to build that can be expanded. Yeah. Okay. Pumpkin is orange. So if, yeah, if you're doing the pumpkin, you might need to um, add the white first. So oh, right, not in white, yeah, like we did with the sun. You need to find a clean brush. Yeah, that too. I came into work today, this afternoon, and I was asking my boss a question. She's like, what do you got there? I'm like, we're painting today. And she goes, oh, I forgot you were doing actual live art in the library today. She was so excited. <laughs> I miss being able to go to the library so much. You can come in now. You just yeah, I know, but it's it's by appointment and for an hour. I mean, we used to come and I'd wander through all the books, and my husband would go sit and read magazines. Yeah, you know, and we'd be there for a couple of hours. I know it's it's less of like a day trip now. It's more yeah. Okay, wait. Tavia is by appointment. Um, you we do allow walk-ins. I, that's what I thought. Yeah. So you can make an appointment if you want that guaranteed entry, but we allowed walk-ins. And I don't think we've ever hit the number of people we allow in the building. So okay. I don't think we've ever turned away a walk-in. Well, I think I'm done with the tree. Maybe. I don't know. I might add more. Yeah. I'm not sure. But I'm going to start working on the pumpkin just so that we don't run out of time here. It's already 
I have my pumpkin down here. I'm going to do one big pumpkin, I guess. I see there's a few that have like one or two pumpkins. Ooh, you're painting outside. Tammy. You're muted. He's you using my um, food processor inside, so my husband. Uh, that works. But anyway, I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if you can see that. No, I see it. My phone. Your tree is creepy. I like it. <laughs> so is my hay bale. It was supposed to be a gourd, but it's um, I painted over it. <laughs> it works. So on the mobile app, I can't figure out how to. Um, oh, I see the phone. I think if you Wait. swipe, you can see everyone, right? Oh, okay. So now I figured out how to turn the camera. There we go. So if we want to go in Brady Bunch view, we have a. a okay, thing. you said swipe. I think if you swipe it, then you. So can cool. See it, right? <laughs> you can swipe it, go through everyone's little screens. There you go. Okay. And it looks like you put leaves oh, on nice. the ground. Yeah, well, I've used the same size brush instead of using the tiny brush. Yeah. Use the end of the the paintbrush to do some lines over here and scribble. Yeah. Make okay. Hay. Use what you got. I like your sky a lot too. It almost looks like a tie-dye sky. <laughs> I, you know, I purposely didn't mix my paint so that I'd have all different colors. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did mix it, but not thoroughly so that it has different lumpies on it yeah. lumpies that's a technical term <laughs> sure is lumpies brush strokes there we go <laughs> it looks really cool i like it i have oh. to get going but i wanted to show mine if we want to uh, Hold on. Th telling hers. Th Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> she has. It looks like she used the really wow. brush to do a lot of the twirly swirly. They're smaller twirly swirly. Looks great. So I couldn't get them very big. Cool. Sounds really cool. It's really neat. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you very much, Amy. That was so much fun. You're welcome. I'll send out a link to the recording. Okay. Thank you, everyone that signed up. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Before we leave, right. are you going to take a picture of everybody's? Are you going to do a screenshot? Of everyone holding it up? We can try. Oh, that would be fun. You don't have to. I, do I don't want to leave and if you want to do it. We can try to do that now. Okay. So if everyone can pause for one second. Oops. Do it. Oh, my incomplete pumpkin. It's fine. It's fine. Pumpkins okay. are white sometimes. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a jelly bean, a giant jelly bean. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> it looks like we have almost everyone. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble with my. I hit something. Are you Diane? Can you see my picture? It looks like Diane is frozen. If that's who it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know. yeah. Let's do it one real quick in case people have to leave, and then we can. Oh, okay. there it is. Okay. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, I think I got it. All right, I got it. Cool. Cool. Nice. Yo. Don't forget to sign your name. Yeah, don't forget to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Black paint where you can use a Sharpie when everything's dry, which is what I usually do. Thank you. So, if you guys, if anyone needs to take off, you are welcome to. We're pretty much done. Um, or you can stick around and we can all finish our paintings together. It's up to you. 
I'm going to keep playing. Okay. My pumpkin. I have to go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good Bye, rest everyone. of the Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Yep. I mean, my pumpkins are looking really flat. Flat? Yeah, flat, like just blobs. Yeah. So you can add um, like a white highlight like, to one side of them. Okay. Or you can even add like a shadow towards the bottom. Oh, okay. Need more orange paint. Bye. People are leaving. Yeah. Bye. I'm I'm gonna keep playing. You can keep at it. You don't have to do it on camera. It's all, all right. Good. Bye-bye. Okay, I will have your canvas out by circulation when we're done with this. Okay, Tammy? You're muted. Dang it. There you go. I know, I know. <laughs> try, to, try not to make too much noise. That's okay. All right, so um, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time. I did, I did. This was really fun. Thank good. you. I'm glad. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. This was great. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I'm going to sign off. Okay. Sounds good. Everything's still going good? Yeah. I'm a slow painter, I think. <laughs> the program goes until at least four, so... Okay. I usually give people two hours, and that's it. Yeah. I regret putting a face on this pumpkin. <laughs> oh, he's cute. <laughs> Thank you.
struggling with my roots. They look kind of goofy. Well, maybe it's not so bad. Um, I wish I could point at it. I know. Uh, right in the middle where it kind of like crooks up. Not that one. The Where this it one? meets the trunk. No, oh, up more. Yeah. Right there. Make it less of a V. Okay. So the one. Yeah. Okay. So I think the way I can annotate on the screen. Oh. How do I do that? I don't see it. I think you're talking about right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I think that looks of a V and more. See how mine is flat? Yes. It's like pretty much flat going all the way across. Yes. I think you just need to make your tree a little more grounded looking. Yes. You know? I think I'm going to stop. I need to stop. <laughs> The great thing about this being digital is that I only have one set of brushes to clean. <laughs> so true. It's nice. I mean, even just the fact that someone could join from out of state, there's some. There's I some thought that was cool because yeah. she also said that her, I think her sister was going to join and she lives in Florida. See, that's and then all, great. They were trying to rope a friend from England to, to dial in. And I'm like, how cool would that be? If yeah. Just like painting with us. Well, even locally, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to come in the middle of the day with my, I mean, I guess my kid would have been in school. I, it's all confusing, but like normally I wouldn't be working from home and be able to, you know. Right. Yeah, I think those roots are better. Plus, yeah, if you look at it, that looks better. Yeah. It looks like it's, it's sitting on the ground now. Right. You know? Yeah. Not just floating. Might add some more of the hash in the back now. I think I was a little bit cautious about it, but I can see where it'd be nice to have a little more bold. A little more, like, yeah, so it's not just orange. Yeah. I'm thinking about adding a little black cat. That would be fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Amy. It's nice to see you without your mask on. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. I know. For the community check-in, so. Yeah, this was great. Community check-in, shout out. Oh, wait, no one's here for me to plug it. Community uh, check-in, we're going scuba diving next week. Are you really? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, there's some place in Naperville that does like scuba diving, like training and stuff in a pool. 
So um, Misty contacted them and they're like, yeah, come on, we'll do scuba diving. So we're like, okay, let's, yeah, who knows if scuba diving near us. So <laughs> that'd be fun. That'll be exciting. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye.